Eniola Badmos TV Entertainment without bounds. Hey guys, welcome to Trending on Eniola Badmos TV. Here are the trending stories for today. The video changes contact details, peaks on focusing on self. Two Baba blast Nigerian religious leaders. Busala Dakolo gives update on rape case one year after. The details in just a little bit. Nigerian music star David Adeleke, popularly known as Davido, has talked about focusing on himself and changing his lifestyle. The music star says he's changing his phone number and advised those trying to reach him to restrain from doing so. The music star further says he's making changes to his lifestyle and has promised to stop putting the interests of other people before himself. He shared a post on Instagram page on Wednesday, June 3, 2020, saying that he's changing his phone number because he wanted to do some cleansing. He wrote, if you can't reach me, don't reach me. All my life I have put people before me. I think it is time to actually live my life and take care of myself. I have changed my number. I needed some cleansing to do. Love you all. Reports surfaced on the internet recently that the video is making plans to move to a banana island home with his family. Well, I think it's about time. What do you guys think? Hi wonderful people, my name is Eniola Badmos and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much guys and guys please do not forget that this pandemic in the land, we need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands we should use alcohol based sanitizer we should maintain social distancing we should use nose masks to be protected above all guys let's stay safe guys that's it on training today remember to like and subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV thank you so much for watching two babas come hard for religious leaders in Nigeria he wrote on Instagram, Fuck all pastors and imams and also called men of God. Good is good and bad is bad. Preach truth. Don't be embarrassing God everywhere. One love religion. My God no go tell me to collect money for Ram. My God no go tell me to fight or kill person for Ram. My God no weak like that. My God don't package everything keep. That's why I get brain. I no go turn the other cheek again. Make we still the follow men of God will not do anything to help. Instead, then be defined ways to collect money from Una Lin Change, SMA. Post has caused diverse reactions on social media. Let's check out some of them. Jesse underscore Orit says, My only issue with this comment is generalizing. Although, it is a general problem with us including me. Not all men of God or Imam are bad. We still have true ones among them. Nevertheless, the truth in what he just said is one love religion. Trust me best says, Nigerians can't have sense again. We don't tell them this tire, that the freeze even make it part-time job. Mr. Lamy says, only God knows whether this pastor studied psychology in school. They know how to brainwash the gullible ones. Sean James wrote, two baba don't vex, but where is the lie? Don't come under this comment and spill rubbish, cause I'm not normal. Olumide underscore bab says, most sensible thing I've been fortunate to read this year. Underscore Tiana underscore Cherry says, that's why I love myself. Be good and that's all that matters. It's hard to know who is real or fake these days. Date Ninja one says, he should have said fake. Some of them are genuine and good. B Shizu 70A wrote, there are no men of God, just men. No God talks to man or interferes in his affairs. Edo Zim CV says, I concur. Don't be a religious fanatic and puppet. Just be a good person. Eniola Jaladi says, they will never learn even after this post. Blinded lot. And finally, Miss underscore Freshy underscore Fisher says, Thought not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Well, do you think Zu Baba is right with that one? Let us know in the comment section. Busola Dakolo has finally spoken out one year after she shared her rape story implicating Biodon Fato Imbo. On Instagram, she wrote, It's now officially one year after since I came out and told the most important story of my life up until this point. That when I was a teenager, Biodon Fato Imbo violently raped me. It wasn't just me. 
In the media, on social media platforms and in private, women have been sharing stories of how this man either destroyed their lives or tried to. A lot has happened in that time. My heart is glad the consciousness continues to be raised about the great evil that sexual abuse is and how widespread it is and how much women are at risk and why we need to ensure justice for those who find the strength to speak out. Awareness is victory, but we are pushing to another even greater victory, justice. When the court last year decided to rule in favor of the man who assaulted me, people were creased falling, I understood. What they didn't know, however, is that before we even began, we had been prepared for a long haul battle that may take years because the Nigerian legal system isn't wired to help sexual abuse victims get justice. Today, I have a major update. The police has concluded its investigation and handed over its report to the Ministry of Justice in Abuja for onward prosecution of Biodun Fato Imbo. It clearly has a case to answer, but there has been silence from the ministry. Silence, a loud silence. We have written a letter, but for over a month, we have no response. Instead, my lawyers and my families have heard about all manner of manipulation and foul play being attempted to stop the ministry from beginning persecution immediately or even to get the police reports manipulated. My name is Busola Dakolo, a survivor of one of the most horrific acts, rape. My voice will not be shut down. My case will not be silenced. I am thankful to those in and out of the police, the ministry and the corridors of power who have called in solidarity and to reassure me that they are monitoring the Ministry of Justice and that this pressure to bury the case will not succeed. I'm updating the Nigerian public because you all made my story matter. You joined me to say enough is enough. With you, this has been an easier process. Hashtag we are tired. Hashtag not in my church. Hashtag justice. Well, we continually hope that every rape victim will get justice. Again, on Enyola Badmas TV, we say no to rape. Those are all the stories we have for you for right now. Remember to like and subscribe before you go. See you soon.